Mm-hmm. Welcome back to Kruznik Sanctuary and Final Fantasy XIV Endwalker. Kruznik X along with Arya Stormborn. Baron Boop Boop. Hello. Lord Fire. Right? We can oh. hear you. I'm your I'm your tour guy to the end of time. And Minerva Weathervane. I have a face. In the last episode, we discovered who Sir really was, but in the process, we lost none other than our dear Grahatia. And wait, now wait, wait. And now, I, I haven't. What? Sorry, I, I haven't actually been watching, and you were slightly ahead of me in the storyline. We lost Rahatia. Yeah, he's dead. Wow. I'm yes. gonna go back and yes. watch the stream, but like, I just uh, verification because I'm gonna my tears now. Dead. Let's okay. go with yes. All right. No, there. maybe he might have deserved it. Well, I mean, he died once already, like Glenn, in The Walking Dead. That effect is drastically decreased the second time it happens. Yeah, well, we didn't watch him die, per se, but anyway. I don't, I don't believe any of them are dead. They're in a sense of the state. Well, that's my opinion. Well, we'll see. Huh. Anyway. Interesting theory. Let's, uh... We've got... Three? Yes. Three quests left. So the, the this episode will contain two. Let's move on because we must forge ahead. And look at that. Our next quest is <laughs> aptly named Forge Ahead. How about that? That crystalline path. Graha has paved it for us. Difficult as it is, we must carry on. For our friends. And all who await us in faith. So come, let us seek the past beginning. It appears to be near the outpost. Let's ride. Um, base Omicron, right? Um, or oh, I could have just found you there, but. Um, what was I, I? I, I was about to say something and I totally forgot it. It's because I'm awesome. No, I'm it's because you're forgetful. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, where's Tenma in all this? We haven't heard from him, but anyway. Look, Chris, a portal is opened. It will surely deliver us true. It must. Going up. Here we are. Well, here's where the path begins, and it ascends to dizzying heights. Let us make our way, one short step at a time. Alright, Alice. Our friends got us this far. Their courage, their strength, their wisdom, their love. We owe it to them to continue, no matter how long it takes. Alphano and Alice are now accompanying you. Keep them at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. You can leave your quest companions behind by entering a different area, putting too much distance between you or by speaking with them and selecting the option to part ways. If you wish to have your companions join you again, return and speak with them at the original location. Which means you have to walk. <laughs> well, that I can do. Honestly, you feel... <laughs> this feels almost like old times, really. Mm-hmm. I mean, how did we start a Realm Reborn? Frickin' riding a carriage with these two I, yeah. in tow. Or uh, a boat. You know, I had that same thought. <laughs> I, I, mine was a carriage. I yeah. Think. Wait, didn't you boat, start? Didn't you? Didn't you? Weren't? Did you start as an archer? 
No, I started as a black mage, a thaumaturge. Oh, okay, so I, we both start, started on the Chocobo card to Ulda. Mm hmm. My first, my first uh, into magic was the, the magic of the black. Yep. Oop, there's a point over there, but I do want to walk over here for a second. My god. I gotta say, this is one of the best uh, worlds they've had so far. Alright, <laughs> unfortunately we can't walk the entire way, so we might as well just do a brisk uh... jog. <laughs> Let's speak with, uh, Alphino. The innumerable lights that shine in the distance. To think that they all could have birthed civilizations. To think that everything they built has gone to dust. Their peoples lost to despair. Of the stars floating in the sea of midnight. Ours is a lonely aberration. And yet, no matter how many worlds have met their end, with you and Alice beside me, there is nothing I fear. No ocean so vast I cannot cross. Alice? Those broken stars I see. Shattered. Ruptured. Unraveled. I wonder if they're also worlds recreated at the ends. The sight of them fills me with a sorrow I cannot describe. And a truth I cannot deny. Birth and death. Whence we came and where we'll return. A wheel from where which there is no escape. Alright, let's go to the other side. It And if I remember right, this is uh, the same guy who sang for uh, for the Shadowbringers theme song. I think so. Yeah, I remember him tweeting something about it. I keep forgetting his name, though. Let's speak to Alphano. Thancred would scout the road ahead. Yishtola and Urianger would trade opinions on esoteric subjects. Graha would join in their discussion or else chat with me and Alice about the mission. Estinian would be at the rear, a part yet present. All the while, you would come and go, wherever you are needed, and together, we would travel. Alice? All I can hear are my footfalls, my heartbeat. It's so much quieter now. But the fact that we can breathe and continue on is proof that the others are still with us. They are. They are. Aren't they? <laughs> is it bad that I just want to give Alice a fucking hug right now? No. No. I, I know the feeling. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way. I know it's pro... It's a dead end, and we're getting further from our... Ooh. <laughs> the portal is ba barely visible from up here. Truly, we've come far. Much farther than would have been possible had we kept chasing perfect ideals as we did in the past. It is because we have known failure and frustration that we have learned and grown from them. That Heidelin has entrusted us with this mission. With the fate of the very star. It's all a dream, isn't it? A long, elaborate dream. Any moment now, I'll wake up in my bed. Still a student. Grandfather alive. I'd go about my day. Relieved as the fragments of that other life fade away. That would be happiness, wouldn't it? That none of it... No. No, I won't give up these experiences. Good and bad, they are mine. They are me.
Oh! The path is actually leading us this way to begin with. Yeah. Alpha no. Rest assured I am fine. But thank you for your concern. What of yourself? Though we can't afford to be too leisurely, neither need we rush in unduly. We've crossed an impossible distance to stand where we are now. And we're but a few steps away from journey's end. It will be over before we know it. Alice, need some words of comfort? Me? Oh, I still have plenty of things left in legs left in me. Don't you worry. It's you I'm worried about. You always push yourself so hard for us. For everyone. And while we're here, we'll make sure to bear our share of the burden. Hello. Going up. Even though I never beat uh, Final Fantasy VIII, this kind of feels like the pathway t towards uh, Ultimisha's castle. Yes, actually, uh, I, I thought that as well. Because right. I did beat Final Fantasy VIII. Alpha no? <laughs> well, this is it. The end of the path. And the beginning of whatever awaits. There will be greater hardships. We may be made to feel powerless. Yet come what may, let us have no regrets. No. Let us have pride in what we have achieved. In what we achieved and how it has changed us for the better. That's worth fighting for. And dying for. As they did. I'll say. There are some structures up ahead. Still a ways to go before we reach the dead sun. Given... All this. I know how naive it must sound to hope it all works out somehow. Still, you'll forgive me if I wish for it all the same. And for you, most of all. Not that you of all people need it, it's just... After all the help you've given me, for once, I want to be the one to help you. Man, this scenery is so fucking beautiful. The atmosphere as a whole is beautiful. Oh, here we are. Alright. This is almost... What the... <laughs> Normal? It's not unlike many cities we know, but it's deathly quiet. Mayhap the inhabitants are within the buildings, or invisible to our senses. Wrong on both counts. There is simply no one here. Meteon. Meteon! This is how I found it when I arrived. Another star, which once pulsed with life, but no longer. How it ended, I do not know. Invasion, sickness, suicide, none can say. None live to speak for the dead. They are gone. Gone. Search all you like. But you'll only end up turning back. Oh, 
Out for now. If there is no one here, then neither should there be an em emotion to bar our way. Yet Medion seems convinced we'll turn back. What riddle is this? I don't know, but we will continue. Whatever Medion may have said, we should confirm it with our own eyes. We need to have a look around. Indeed. At the very least, it doesn't appear to be a sprawling place like those before. If we split up, it shouldn't take too long to cover the area. Alright. Let's check here. I can hear myself. It's kind of weird. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Perhaps you could try calling out. Hello? Nope. If anyone has heard you, they do not respond. Okay. This place is reminiscent of a bar, but neither patrons nor staff are anywhere to be seen. Egg-shaped containers line the shelves, with a loose few sitting on the counter. Vessels for the beverages, in all likelihood. A venue bustling with activity, until it was not. Okay, so, uh... Whose butt do I have to fuck to get a martini around here? Just kidding. <laughs> the object resembles a tree and appears to have been fashioned from a stone-like material. Erected in place of an actual tree, or to serve some other purpose, perhaps. Regardless, there is no one left to explain. To tell the story. Huh. Oh. Were it not for the thick layer of dust, one could imagine someone drinking from these cups but moments ago. Where is number five? Oh, there it is. Rusty door. Though set slightly off the ground, this appears to be a door, while the objects to the left could be letter boxes. The door is rusted shut, and the film of dust all over suggests no one has come through in a long, long time. Alright, one more vantage point. In the distance, you glimpse Alice picking her way through the ruins, but otherwise spy no s signs of life. I'm just gonna sit here and say nothing. You strain your eyes to catch something. You strain your ears to catch something, anything, but hear not so much as a chirp as the chirping of an insect. My god. Alright. Let's speak with Alice. Eh? Chris <clears throat> Chris, take a look at this. If the road was a little longer, we could make it to just beneath the dead sun. But I suppose this is where the reconstruction ends. How about you? Did you find anything of interest? I see. I noticed the same things. Cups left upon tables. Chairs out of place. I don't know what happened here. But I do know I don't want to be alone anymore. We've searched enough for now. Let's find Alphano and compare what we've learned. With no music, this is really creepy business. Alpha no. Did you find anything? 
Nothing. Totally barren. No. This place is completely deserted. And I can't see how we're supposed to move on from here. Neither can I. It's quite the quandary. There are no denizens to bar our path, yet there is no way forward. For another mystery, we did find signs of very recent life. You'd swear everyone just vanished into thin air. Hmm. I wonder how many ruined worlds like this has Meteon seen. Ah. Uh, could it be? Yes. Yes, I believe I may have puzzled this out. Oh, Alpha no knows. Despite how it appears, it's no different this time. There is someone here who has wished for this ruin. And I believe that together, Alize and I can overcome their will. Knew it. I promised your parents I'd keep you safe. I know. I know. But if there is a chance this will work, then I would take it. For everyone, and for myself. I will not pretend otherwise. I have my fears. Not for myself, but for you. The last to remain. You are no stranger to carrying the burden of others. But I can only imagine how heavy the weight would be this time. As your friend, I cannot bear the thought of making you suffer so. Then why suggest such a thing? Because... It's too much to ask of anyone, even him. Why must he be the one? Why must he fight alone? More than a hero, he's a dear friend. Not only to us, but to so many others. There are so many people in the world who care for you, and yet... And yet... <laughs> Alize. I have an idea. Given the nature of this realm, it may be possible to do more than unbar our friend's path. We might also pave him a new one. Mm. For instance, a path where he finds happiness at journey's end. This is unacceptable. This much, I think we can believe with the utmost conviction, no matter how deep our despair. So please, believe in us too, and press on. Thank you. What are you... If the plan's decided, then let's not dally. <laughs> In other words, taking you before I change my mind. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Ah, there you are. It was as I said, was it not? It was. We couldn't find anyone. But this place isn't entirely deserted, is it? You are here.
you sought out a star of promise and found a ruined husk. Like us, you explored the devastation. Like us, you were stricken. Horrified by the thought that so many lives could be snuffed out as if they were worth nothing. And the thought that you would have to bear the terrible tidings to Hermes. That which you saw and felt, you shared with your sisters as did they share their own grim findings with you. Overcome by the pervasive despair of these stars, some of you inadvertently ushered their peoples to their ends. Knowing the horrors you know, anyone would feel the same. They would fear what lies ahead and struggle to move forward. Fear? I had forgotten that such a thing existed. So focused have I been on shepherding despair. If you can remember, then you can still face and overcome your own fear. Why would I bother with such an insignificant emotion? If the despair I command is as a raging river, then fear is but a trickling stream. It can do nothing to alter my flow. You spoke with the Aya, yes? Heard their tale of what awaits the universe. It's true. The stars grow colder and more distant. Eventually, all will enjoy frozen solitude. Using the power of Dynamis, I'm hastening that process. In so doing, nothing will be born ever again. Everyone will remain dead. Alas, it will take time for that to happen. So in mercy, I sent you my gift. To spare you needless suffering. Don't worry. Even if no living witnesses remain to mark the event, I'll make certain that Atheris has a proper end. For all the power you wield, you're more fearful than the familiar you used to be. That Meteon feared simply to move forward. But your fear is such that you've given up on everything. Mm -hmm. I know it well. That sense of defeat. I've tasted my fair share of it. But as many times as we've fallen down, we've learned how to pick ourselves up and carry on. We take each other's hand, share in each other's courage, follow in each other's footsteps, and turn sorrow into strength. There are times when we fail. We bear wounds that do not heal. But these experiences are part of life, and they make us stronger. Damn straight. We, we rise, fall, and, and rise, rise again. again. Sure, Don't hope you two know us. what you're doing. You must take the <laughs> next step, and all the rest after that. Then there was one. And then there was so the solo.
to read the accompaniment. <laughs> Saw it. <laughs> uh, it's nothing, just a headache. And you lie like a cheap potato. <laughs> I know they will. Sometimes a lie is better. <laughs> Apologies for the interruption. A man arrived on the last ferry, an associate of the Scions. Huh? He wishes to speak with you at once. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounded metallic, so... I don't know, but... Hmm. I mean, I think people will listen to me. That's not. Okay. Get ready for... Get ready for some good feels. In this city devoid <laughs> of life, you sense the presence of another. The sorrow of a thousand thousand worlds weighs heavy, and yet, you can walk on. Indeed, we will. Unable to execute certain actions due to push, I'll be right there behind you. Huh? Oh. Do not despair. You are not without allies. The figures. Hoshifon, if I remember right. What we hmm? have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering. No, and it that's uh, Alfred. Upon the souls of they who Alfred. sacrificed themselves to pave the way for peace, <laughs> we will never. <laughs> Abandon our cause. There's Emmerich. Mm -hmm. While it is true that man succumbs all too often to anger and avarice, he may yet overcome his baser instincts through the forming of bonds with others. I think that was Connie Sana just now. Such victories are rarely won without sacrifice, but the prize is worth the price. And we, for our part, are glad indeed to be able to welcome friends both old and new. Save your tears for the morrow. You may be sure we will have ample cause to shed, be they for joy or despair. That had to be... Oh my god. All the... From tragedy and sacrifice, we I rise to greet a new dawn. A future shaped by the choices we made in ways we could never have foreseen. Yet miracles do happen. 
So let us pray and will our friends home. I won't stop praying until I know they're safe. That one was definitely Gaia. Or not Gaia, Reen. <laughs> Strong art thou, mortal. Midgard Zormer. <laughs> Look to the light within, that you may continue to serve as a beacon to others. That was Vanai, if I remember right. Mm. Let's finish this. Which one? The last one? Yeah, I think so. Mm. But here we are. Absolute Horizon. Okay. Yeah. Here, the path Let's ends. finish this as Ardbert, though. There is no way to reach <laughs> our nest. I told you. Resignation and acceptance reign in this place. The rejection of life by those who came to curse it. Those whose dreams were unfulfilled, mm -hmm. whose prayers were unheard, whose labors were unrewarded. Hope cannot deliver you unto hopelessness. Our refuge is beyond you. Always has it been. Such is the nature of this place. You should have remained on a Theris. Nope. Struggle no way in will hell. Avail you not, nor will it grant your comrades peace. Come. Let me relieve you of your burden. You have suffered enough. Well, looks like it's time. Asm's magic. So long as our souls remain, you can use it to summon us back. But you mustn't. How do we make peace with you? That's why it's too soon for this to end. There are so many people in the world. You must triumph. Drown Be safe, all of you. And come back. I am ever grateful. Here we go. Yep. After all these years, is this the answer I was hoping for? So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. Perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, we shall remember these few days we have lost. Do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. I won't forsake our cause. Who's back? Oh, I bid them remember, uh, but all this time I'm the one who had forgotten. A right fool you've made of me, Hermes. And to add insult to injury, I've been denied a sound rest, forced to watch this clamorous show. 
Oh, come now. It's been a gripping tale. Unbreakable bonds and noble sacrifice, sprinkled with moments of levity to counterbalance the pathos. It's got it all. <laughs> they're acting like they're the directors of it. Perfectly content to watch enraptured from mm -hmm. the stalls. Him. Hitlodeus and Emmett Selk. Welcome back. But I won't say no to a bit part. What are you? Half faded souls of the dead. Isn't it painfully obvious? <laughs> Why not? We haven't the power to defeat you, nor is it our duty to do so. Not anymore. That being said, we do have a score to settle. So here I am, Venar. I suppose no, you needed me Never to can. tie it all together, <laughs> these frayed threads of our history. <laughs> but knowing you, I suspect there's a joke in it too. <laughs> oh yes, I can imagine you gloating over my forgetfulness. Well, to be fair, it wasn't your fault. Were I feeling charitable, I might assume you had left room for the possibility of this outcome. Even so, you'll get no applause from me. A single gesture will not lighten the burden I've had to bear. Still, you must be commended. Our methods would not have brought mankind this far. And so, as a show of respect to the last of us, I make this declaration. You will not end our journey. Damn that right! is our answer. The answer <laughs> of all lives of Atheris, past and present. As you've called us to the stage, so shall we perform. And creation magics never fail to please. Of course they don't. Drawing upon the hopes of your comrades, we will make for you a new path. What form said path takes depends on you. So focus, focus, and envision that which rejects the claim that you cannot attain your goal. Ours is the wisdom to weave the fabric of reality. Ours is the power to create. I'm quite the sad, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Meteon, though I gave you these wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. These Alpus blooms serve as proof that this realm is not utterly devoid of hope. No more can you deny its power. No more is yours the dominion of despair. In case the practical implications were lost on you, your comrades no longer need fight their fight. <laughs> so go on. Call them back to your side.
May you ever walk in the light. Ugh, how disappointing. Not even a single scar in the making to brag about. <laughs> Fuck you, thank Red! <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say the same thing to you that you said after what you said when telling me to try to keep awake back in a realm reborn. Fuck you with a chainsaw! Seriously! You'll find a way regardless. <laughs> Honestly, this is far more than any of us could have hoped for. Let us be thankful. <laughs> Indeed, that we thus stand reunited is a gift. <laughs> Let us not squander it and see that we all return to Etheris. Oh, and before I... Before we continue, I do need to say this. The reason you don't remember that is because you started in Gridani. Yes, I started in I remember rock. that. So did I. I remember that. It doesn't matter. Summoner was Limsa. Yeah. Anyway, continuing. I. As soon as we've averted the final days. And what the hell are we Death doing scene. sitting around chatting? Our heroic sacrifice paid off, I take it. Come, my friends. Let us carry on and finish it. Together. <laughs> Damn right. Come with us, Medion. We've got a chase on our hands. The way is open. They can proceed. <laughs> so it seems. You're leaving. Of course. The Encore is finished, and I will not suffer myself to live again by Heidelin's magic. Of course you won't, you prick. <laughs> but more than that, the future you seek is not the past we loved. That is why we fought, and why I lost. Mm. But though you defeated me, my ideals are inviolate, invincible. Spare me your pity. I have no use for it. 
If you would do something for me, save our star. Mm. See this tale to a triumphant conclusion, and with elation in your hearts, mm. bid the final curtain fall. <laughs> Only then may it rise again, and a new tale mm. begin, with new parts for all to play. Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? I have. Or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of Blind Frost <laughs> in Offerd's North? Oh, wait. The oh, I thought he was... The golden cities of the New World. The sacred sites of the forgotten people of the South Sea Isles. What about Merisidia, the southern continent? Do you know aught of its present state of affairs? I've always wondered. I thought not. Even of your little Eorzea, you know precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. All of which is to say, expand your horizons. Go forth and seek discovery. Some of the civilizations in the reflections will surprise you. As the bearer of Azem's crystal, you may consider your duty to see at least that much. I certainly did. I pray we meet again. If not in this life, then perhaps another. Whensoever it should be, I trust it will be a most joyous reunion. For you, maybe. I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> he had to! Oh, don't be that way. Yep. <laughs> Selk, Hithlodeus, thank you. Now then. One more quest to go, but first let's talk to Alice. I don't think I ever knew what to say to the man. In retrospect, it always felt like the wrong thing. But the past notwithstanding, he came to your aid in your moment of need. And he, he, we are here, and we will not squander this chance he has given us. We will see this tale to a triumphant conclusion and bid the final curtain call. The last three episodes will be of the Quest and Walker. If you're watching on Twitch, stay tuned. If you're watching on YouTube, here are the links. See you in the next episodes. Okay.